Hey guys, welcome to uh, the latest episode of A Cast of Salt, uh, starring us. I, my name is Adam, and I'm with Kyle. Hello. And Ben. What's up? Uh, yeah, so um, anyone lo- watching the video, it looks a little different, because you instead of doing it fucking bleary-eyed Saturday morning, we are doing recording ble- the- doing we're pre-recording this. Thursday evening. Thursday evening. So uh, if there's, there's considering this is a news podcast, so good, like filming four days before release, it's just Ooh, fucking- yeah. What a what a mint strategy that's gonna be. And not to <laughs> like, mention all of this. Someone's gonna have like someone like I don't know fucking the Queen will drop dead tomorrow, and then we'll be like, and, oh, and, okay and, then. And Half Life Three will get released. And, yeah, Half Life uh, Three will come out, and then we've just missed didn't the fucking. Did it get taken down? Oh no, it got demonetized. No, okay. Well, we we can talk about that in a second, but um, Adam, how let's are go you? through the week first. Oh yeah, so um, I've been I've been doing a whole bunch of like, editing, which has been a lot of fun, and but more than that, I've been continuing on my. Uh, Switch run of different games. Uh, we haven't released the videos yet, but uh, we like uh, we played a very fun like Mighty Man, Mighty Mighty Mighty, Mighty, Mighty Man. Number Nine, <laughs> Mighty Number Nine slash Meg Man kind of esque game. Mighty Number Man. It was uh, it's Mighty Gun Vault, and that is the game that kind of started going up against Mighty Number no. Nine as like who's going to be the successor of the Mega Man. Franchise but, uh, kind uh, of thing, spiritual answer, successor. Answer: It's Gun Vault. It's Gun Vault. <laughs> uh, and uh, and so we we played that, and I went home and I've been playing that shit nonstop my off time. So I, I'm I'm really embarrassed because those videos are going to come out, and I was not great. Spoiler alert! And now I can play the game. Now I'm great. Hang on, hang on. I'm way better. <laughs> Adam's Adam, bad, bad Adam, as video game. Bad at video oh, games. You don't even know. Like Ooh. yeah. Just, so I'm gonna let you it. finish. But yeah. did you watch the 20 XDX stuff? I did, I did. I'm, I'm interested to have maybe have a look at that, maybe a first look, just uh, I would say, because that is the only Mega Man thing that has, or remotely Mega Man related, that has really like. I don't, twi- I don't tickled know. My to, to, fancy. Be, to be honest, to be honest, I'm not sure how the roguelike elements are going to mash with the Mega Man, oh, well, with the idea of a Mega Man experience. Yeah. It, it'll be I'll, interesting. I watched a bit of uh, gameplay. Look, look really good. good. Yeah. Look really yeah, good. See, yeah. the graphics actually didn't take me that. Like I wasn't like, oh my god, because even even the aesthetic of Mighty Gunvolt or and or just the Gunvolt series in general, I was like, yeah, cool, I get it, I like it. And you got to think twenty XX. I was just like, yeah, you got to yeah. think for pixels, man. You like them big. So my response to your roguelike elements ties in perfectly with how my day's been going. Yes, I feel like roguelike elements fit any situation at all, <laughs> much like chili and lime. So this podcast is brought to you today by. Fuegos. Uh, that is absolutely, completely, and hundred percent false. They do not represent us in any way, shape, or form. D- the however, t- Taki's Fuegos. Having said that, they are delicious. They, they are, are very delicious. amazing. These things are yeah, like not get, get rid of that. Not even an yeah. out. They're they're pretty good. They are like they're, and absolutely terrible for you, just the way that you want all your crisps oh, to be. If God came to Earth in chip form, his name would be Fuego. <laughs> then he'll turn to Carl and be like. I am Fuego. Okay, but what do you do? No, 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 no. I <laughs> am Fuego. Moving on. <laughs> I've been. I've actually been playing a lot of Warcraft Three at the moment. So it's a hot gameplay. Yeah. Yeah. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> wow. Well, that's wow. wow. It's my turn to do one for once. <laughs> I'm so disappointed in you. Yeah, you had so many places to take that. I know. And and that's what you. That's, that's what, what you, that's came, what you up came up with. Yep. I no. mean, you're not a spicy meme at no, all. I'm not. No. Can you tell? That was even worse. You're welcome. Um, so, yeah, I've I've seen the rise and fall of Arthas. It's been great. Yeah, so yep. 20 years later, so, yeah, or, 20 have, or however long it's been, 15 years maybe? What, something like, since uh, Warcraft 3 was first released. Right, okay. Yeah, so I just want you to know I followed up on my promise and actually started playing it. <laughs> uh, you know, it's actually, it's actually interesting looking back on that because it's sort of like you were introduced to the whole Warcraft... Uh, game world through Hearthstone. Yep, which is a far more sort of light-hearted take. Yeah, on the mythology. And mm. Warcraft Three is just like, ow, my edge. <laughs> it's very, it's very. I think it's very sort of like uh, typical of game of PC gaming at the time in yep. that it's, it, it occupies this weird space between sort of like over the top, almost comedic. Sort of stuff, and also, but also taking itself really seriously. Yeah, and also it occupies a weird space in gameplay elements as well, because it's one of the 
the everyone knows warcraft is this but it's like a hybrid of rts and rpg mm -hmm. and that's tasty do love it well actually um that focus on the more sort of rpg aspects and what would then go on to become moba um yep. mechanics was actually new in warcraft 3 yeah that's not that was not a thing that was present in warcraft and 2 and it was sort of present but not really a major theme in starcraft yep. yeah yeah see funny my first experience of uh, warcraft 3 like was a weird russian game who i can't remember the name of anymore but i was like man if more of this type of game existed i would play the shit out of it <laughs> 12 15, years later. 15 years later. <laughs> oh, sweet. Warcraft 3. So aside from Warcraft 3, I've been playing Hearthstone, the cool. final wing of the uh, Lich King fight, and that came out, which led to this Warcraft binge that I've been on. And God, that was fun. So I still, he, I still haven't played it. His, his gimmick is that he cheats. Okay. So at the st like on his first turn, he does something that makes the fight so brutally oppressive and in his favor. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, and it's just like... That's interesting. Yeah. It, it was really good. Um, not really... Like, I didn't get a chance to play it last night because I was too busy being Arthas, but uh, I also got Mario X Rabbids. Oh, yeah. That's Looking forward fun, to giving you guys a, like, a subtle review of that because, man... I'm, I'm excited. That was a game that... I think we've discussed it before on our E3 wrap-up, but it was like... I, it blew us all away. We were like, this game's going to be fucking shit. And then you'd be like... Yeah, okay, I'm going to eat those words. looks pretty good. See, <laughs> that, pretty good. I, that was back when we were expecting it to be a Mario Party-like. See, yes. I like. I can go on record because you there's did. podcasts on it. Ever since the rumors came out, I was like, this is probably going to be like an RPG or something, I thought, and I'm going to be excited. I, I thought I thought that you you said, I, I do admit you were on board with the idea immediately, but I thought, my thought behind it was that you thought, oh, this is going to be shit and I'm going to enjoy it. Like, it's just going to be terrible, but... And now we can enjoy something else that is actually going to be good. Isn't and it an Ubisoft game? Yes. yes where, are the is. where are the microtransactions? They are uh, in there. there. Is, uh, yep. They are in there. I, They're uh, putting microtransactions I, in there. <laughs> I, I have a product code in my top drawer at work for... Use coins. these to get bonus skins like, oh, for your weapons. Shit. Oh. Um, but the most important thing that's come out of Mario plus Rabbids mm. is Luigi Dabs. Oh my god, really? There, he has an oh, animation. Do not, do not. And he just goes, oh. Don't. You did it. Fuck I did why it. did you do that? I did it because you won't make love to me anymore. Oh, I'm certainly not going to after that. It's okay, um, you don't have to see me dabbing also, from behind. Speaking of. Oh, wait. I want to get I want to get, get this code out. <laughs> You're like. Mm, well okay. played. Also, um, speaking of uh, XCOM likes, XCOM 2. The two inning. Uh, the War of the Chosen actually is dropped last week. Uh, oh, yesterday. Uh, yesterday. Yesterday. Oh, so two days ago. The 29th. Yeah. The 29th. Yeah. We, so not yesterday. Re reviews are out about that. And um, I was, I've been reading reviews saying, like, this is the best thing to happen to any XCOM game yeah. ever. Bold words. Yes. So the best thing that they're like, it's better than two, it's better than any XCOM thing they've ever released ever. So the the thing's you know about amazing. the gimmicks in it, don't you? So apparently uh, it's permadeath. Awesome. Well, that's normal. Uh, your team members can like form a war bond type thing. So, and you can be like, hey, when we're together, we get bonuses. But if one of us dies, everything goes to shit. They, they go worse. And there's, there's, there's a whole bunch. That they're focusing a lot on story-driven characters as well. Um, like emergent stories based on what happens um, during the battle. So yeah, yeah, and also there's a lot more like countdown. So if you've played XCOM two, like the whole thing is See, like you're trying to fight the Avatar project, and that's like one bar, and if it gets the max, you lose. Where this has like three separate, three other bars as well as the Avatar project that is like the different w chosen, the chosen, which is three alien enemies dead. who all who are brothers and sisters. And they run around causing havoc to you and like talking to you and, and causing and so, creating this dynamic storyline, but they're advancing their own agendas at the same time and you've got to fend them all off and, and it's like they much can, more mannequin. It's hard. Sounds, That's the thing. Sounds complicated. It's and fucking hard. They can That's randomly show up during your missions. And they'll so, rock up on the field and just start shooting. So you you, you can literally have rough. a routine mission. Yeah. Just like, you know, in, out, easy, peasy, whatever. And suddenly like the king of the Zerg shows up and you're just like, oh, well, and and the thing is as well with this, they've um, 
uh, when if you kill that character in battle, they're dead. Like yeah, yeah. So their story ends. Yeah, their story ends. So th- there's well, a, there's, no, no. Actually, yeah. if you kill them when they show up mm-hmm. in a mission, they they'll like, come. They'll come back. Oh, yeah. But you actually have to unlock their lair and murder them there. Yeah. But you, but there, there, there is end game mm, towards there. Murder. There's a whole bunch of different mechanics that change. My favorite up. kind. The one thing that I've read as well is that um, to get the best thing, because this, this is supposed to be like they're like, oh, XCOM Super pretty hard, pretty hard game, but we want to make it like this is brutally hard. And the commonalities that I've been reading in reviews is like the most fun is when you turn on Iron Man mode. Oh. So no safe scumming, no bullshit. Um, because the thing is, it almost becomes a roguelike at that you're, point. You're gonna, di- you're gonna die. You're gonna die a lot, and it's gonna be more fun because it's so hard. You will care way more, and it, See, it's meant for. I haven't mode. actually touched XCOM two yet because I'm normally that person who just waits until everything's out and then comes through and binge it. Yep. Which I did with the original XCOM. Yeah, so love I did that too. game. Oh, well, not the original, the original remake. The 2012 one. Anyway, Carl, we've been too busy on our wanky yes. Switchcom train. What up? I uh, have had a very quiet w- week in gaming. I've been pretty busy doing mm. other stuff. And um, so I've basically just been keeping up with my Warcraft. Cool. A new patch dropped a couple of days ago, but I have not had time to check it out yet. So you're off Final Fantasy then? For now. For now. For the moment. <laughs> well, I actually logged in and did a few quests this morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dailies don't you got to get them yeah. dailies, man. That's, that's, so, that's no joke. Also, <laughs> when you get new PC set up, we're doing... Yeah. I'm starting FF from Square Zero. You want in? What's that? He's he's gonna play Final Fantasy fourteen. Oh really? After you, after you, my urgings. And you wanna you wanna come with me on oh, an adventure? How expensive is it? I don't really. We get free free trial to level thirty five. Okay. And then you can see if you can like it. Okay. Come with I'm me. And that's and it. that's that's like half the original campaign. So yeah. Worth, it's, I'll have it's worth doing. Take my that. hand, Adam. We'll explore MMOs together. No, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, no. We can dungeon crawl. Oh, that's that. We can raid. Super. We can raid boxes. We can raid each other. No, that's not happening. <laughs> It's not happening. <laughs> right, we can get loot. Just just remember that Rogue's Destiny 2 comes out, man. That's going to take up so much that's, time. That's, that's, that's almost already out, isn't it? The beta's yep. on right now on PC. The, be- the beta is out, and then the full release is like next month, I yeah. think. Next couple of and weeks. See, right, so we're, so we're about to lose Adam to uh, Destiny 2 for the next three years. You, you do realize that... Um, is Destiny properly cross-play? Did Sony ever get on that? Uh, I don't think Sony got across the cross. I think there's some it's there's Xbox, like Xbox PC so far. There's like some limited crossplay between Xbox and PC, but you know Sony's Sony has issues with crossplay, so probably not. Yeah. Yep. So um, not we'll fully see. We'll see how it goes because I might want to hop in on that MMO shooty train as well. It's it sounded cool. alright. I don't think I. I don't really have time for a it's, third MMO in my life. It's, <laughs> honestly, it sounds better than so Borderlands. Much. So that's yeah. not hard. Yeah, I was. I mean, I, oh wow, we're just really shitting on that game. Yeah, like Ryan's I mean, no, okay, here. yeah, okay. So I'm fair, gonna get so this fair off call, my... I've had a reasonable amount of fun with Borderlands, but it's flawed. Yes. Oh yeah, you know? unless you're Mordecai, the game's not fun. But so I know Revolver Mordecai with bird powers. Yes, I. I, oh, so pew, I, pew, I know, pew, so I'm basically did, did McCree. Borderland, did Borderland have a lot of mods? That feels like a thing that nope. had, that happened. It didn't have mods, really. No. Okay. Well, that fucks my segue up because we're going to talk about Fallout 4 mods. Well, I was oh, gonna- no, no, no. <laughs> I, I still have one more piece of gaming Oh, news. my God. What is it? Let's like, <laughs> no, and this the, is, the derails are beginning. We're going to be here for another 40 minutes And this we concerns move on. all of us right. equally. Yep. Dissidia. Final uh, Fantasy fighting game. I don't have a PS4. I don't have a, I, I don't I, have a PS4. I saw that band. game in Japan. I wanted to play it more than anything I've wanted to play in my entire fucking life. And they're like, coming for PS4. I was like, well, I'm fucked then. Like, it, if you that game would be my jam and I would have it all day, every you're day. If you're such a Squaresoft fan, why the fuck did you buy an Xbox? Because, because he's a dude, bro. Because I've already he's a, he's I'm, I'm locked into my console and I've made my decision. He wants he's, FIFA. He can't get FIFA guy. on PS4. Just, uh, Actually, you, yeah. you can. It's, okay. I'm just it's, on a, everything. it's on everything that has a processor in it. Get FIFA for your blender. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> Is this like the Sonic popcorn machine? Yeah, sure. We'll go with but, that. Uh, yeah. So now on, the that's topic of, out, isn't on it? the topic of Sonic, oh my god, <laughs> I was actually going to like no, force that's, derail that's, him no, into no. a different. <laughs> no, we're not going to do it. that. That's next. So we are that's we are going to we are going to talk about Fallout Four mods though. So the paid mods that went over so well last time. Do we remember how well they went over? I think they didn't go anywhere at all. It was like we're doing paid mods, and the community's like review bomb them until the, like the community just, was like WTF, mate. 
Now, it, like, no, it, they came out. They they got they got dumped on Steam as paid mods. No, but that's and what people I mean. revolted and people told them the fuck off. Yeah, the whole they, th- the whole they, thing they was the, d- the whole thing was done and dusted within about thirty six hours, wasn't it? Oh, I don't know the time frame. It was, but it was really short. It was, pretty it was quick. really short. You're really short. They did not Gosh. like that. So um yeah, and that was that was where the infamous horse armor came from. What? No, Wait, no, actually, no, no, that was no, DLC, no. wasn't it? No, okay. So horse thing. armor was Oblivion DLC. Oblivion DLC from 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 ages ago. Oh uh, yeah, I was like, was it pre-order bonus DLC? No, no, Get- it came. No, I I so I I lived through that. You, you're like so I'm I'm old enough to remember that in. Vivid, when it vivid detail. Vivid. De- so did you buy horse armor, Carl? I absolutely did not. That is ridiculous. Did you mod horse armor no. in just to be like... No, I didn't. Look at my now, horse. My horse you, is amazing. So are you a Fallout 4 player? Do you no. like Fallout? No, I'm a, yeah, I'm a, a, Ryan I'm a, is the Fallout player. I'm a Skyrim player. Yeah, that, that's that's my jam. I would really would, would you be interested in playing Fallout 4 then if you could get horse armor in Fallout 4? Uh, because it's, it is currently one of the paid mods in the... Crea- is, is in the, horse what's armor. called the Creation Club. It's, is horse armor. Yes. So yeah, what is? You, are you are you serious? Wait, wait. I am I am very serious. Horse armor okay, is so something they put on as it must have been. A, I don't know why they did it, but it's there. Okay, wait. so let's okay, there's, so let's there's let's, not let's, even horses. So what in- it is? So it is. It's a skin for your um your big mech, yep. and it has a big horse head on the front. And like big plates of art, like it's a horse horse armor skin for your mech. Holy shit! Yeah, right, let's, and okay. It, and let's it's, well, ca- it's called power armor. So the power armor, yeah. Okay, let's take a step yeah. back for a second. Um, so the first they tried to go via the Steam Workshop with yes. paid mods, right? Yes. It was a joint effort between Valve and Bethesda. Volvo, mm-hmm. please. Yep. Uh, and it was not received well, and Gabe Gabe N pulled the plug after about. Less than a week. Yeah, he Less was just like, "That's not boop. going well yeah. because, yeah, the community hates it and we're copying shit." <laughs> yeah, but uh, so Bethesda have now decided to go it alone. Yeah, I think in some of the early uh, like marketing uh, mm-hmm. that they put out about this feature, they described what they were intending for sale in this Creators Club program yep. to be like mini DLC. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That, that, That's the pitch. That that was the and pitch. that's the idea. So it's launched this week, and what's available? It's a bunch of cosmetics, you know, like yep. new skins and stuff for like four dollars a weapon. Yeah, see, it's that's, not looking good. That's basically mini DLC. No, it's not. <laughs> well, see, when I th- when I hear the term mini DLC, when I hear the term DLC, what I think is something that camouflage print for your gun. No, a new knife that kind I of think, shines blue think, in the I right also light. Also, no. I, I think some like maybe a new quest line or a new town. Exactly, that's where I was going with this. I'm th- I'm thinking something that expands the game in some minor way. Yeah. New town, new quest line, new group of characters, new pair of pants, some new voice acting lines. I don't or know, so, or something, 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 some, something, that, some, something, that, something to do yeah. rather than something to see. Batman, you know what I mean. Batman occasionally shows up while you're wandering the wilderness. If that's what it takes. Yes, but the thing is. And, and, Excuse and, and me, and I have to go make a paid mod. The, okay. the, the difficulty thing here is that there's a lot of kind of confusion around uh, what is like the free free mod because there's still free mods. Free mods are available and you can get. However, um, these paid mods may break the free ones. They may like well, is what currently free mods are doing. They say Bethesda is saying they're testing these, but it's Bethesda testing. But like, how good is the vanilla game? Like, how good is it testing as it is? Need I remind um, you? Remind you they forgot to put physics on paintbrushes in um, Oblivion. What like, did that mean? That means that if you grab the paintbrush and let go of a paintbrush, it stays there. It just cool. hovers in the air. You're like, cool. Uh, you <laughs> can, can you create bridges using them. You can literally create whatever you want from paintbrushes. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a bug. That's a feature. Um, <laughs> I turned it into one. So um, no. Uh, yeah. uh, but no. Now, I, re- I distinctly remember one of the big sticking points of mm. the original attempts by Valve and Bethesda to roll out paid mods yep. uh, was the questionable legality of a mod that depends on other mods, other free open source yes. mods like libraries or resource packs yep. um, that were then... S- then went on to be sold. And and, and, and where, where a lot of this can, comes around is just like, well, this is a good avenue for mods modders to get paid for their work and recognized by which the, the, is the important company, which is important 
Um, and the reason these mods are free now is because of the legality issues of selling something on top of, like you're selling something that someone else owns the intellectual property for. So this is a good way of doing that. However, um, there's nothing to stop uh, uh, someone in the creators club or a or Bethesda themselves to say, hey, that free mod that we go on Nexus, that free mod looks really good. We can just build that in Creators Club and then sell that one. Now, there's for- nothing because the the motto that does the free one has no rights there, and then which is what people have argued. There's like a, a, a the original mod is called Hellfire Armor. There's already been comparison videos done. They're, now, they're like this this cool new mod of armor, and it's like flamethrowers and all this shit, really cool. And then literally, it's on Creator Club, cre- Creator Club now. Is people Creation Club, Creation Club. It's called Demon Fire Armor. Yeah, Demon Fire Armor. Wow, no, no, no. so uh, original. And, you know, and, I and, actually and people are like it's was... actually worse than the free one. Now, <laughs> like, no, no, no. This is I didn't know that was its name. I just I guessed. don't know. I'll have, I'll have a look. I'll, I'll find it. I like. I was. I'm like, not surprised. What? Now, but let's uh, uh, now just to clarify one thing: it, who's responsible for the mods on Creation Club or Creators Club or whatever? Or, uh, so the or mod modders cream film mo- modders. Cr- Whatever the fuck. Um, the mod- modders filled. will be submitting these works and then Bethesda will be taking them and posting them themselves in a section. Like, they'll be posting them themselves after being verified and then charged. Verified. Yes. Verified. So exactly. Big air quotes, verified. Yeah, what, what a verification process so is and what qualifies. I, like, the only thing that I'm not getting here is why uh, do I have to pay for my nude mods for Fallout when I can get my nude mods for Fallout for free. Like, look, devil's advocate here, sell me that. Well, so, sell me so that. So the, the idea, the, the, the benefits of paying for these kind of things would be that the fact that you're supporting the creators. Having said that, it would be nice to know what percentage goes to Bethesda and what goes yeah, to I the want creator. On the so it, so well. in the, in the ori- I'm sorry I keep bringing this up, but it's important historical precedent. In the original um, yep. attempt, it was, I think, I think it was something stupid like maybe twenty percent to the original modder. Then it was really low. Then no, no, I am gonna keep with my free titties. I'm sorry. Would uh, free titties? Would a situation in which a mod that was potentially a bit difficult to set up being streamlined and integrated into a one-click process um, make you more likely to yes put money down for it? Yes, because the I have been in that experience. It's not fun. No, it's really not. And but that's the thing. And but, and, and uh, vetting mods for uh, conflicts, mods that conflict with each other, like weeding that out during the certification. See, this is the thing, isn't it? Yeah. Because like it, like that to me sort of sounds like it would be something that, that I would happily pay that, for. That, that might actually be worth. Yes. The extra surcharge. I mean, maybe but not at the price point. May, maybe not four dollars a weapon. May, skin. Maybe not at the <laughs> price point that it's been re- that it's been currently released. And that's yeah. the other thing. It's sort of like there's like. Uh, like third currency fuckery going on here, yeah, where yeah, it's yeah. sort of like you don't buy them directly. You, you have to convert your money into Bethesda coins or whatever the hell. Oh, come on, called. come on, do the alliteration for me. Bethesda, Bethesda box. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> do you feel dirty inside now? I hate you. Bethesda box. I like that one. Uh, you have to turn your money into Bethesda bucks, and then you spend the Bethesda bucks on the. Uh, on your bullshit power armor. On your armor. bullshit power armor. Your, ho- your horse head armor or whatever the yeah. hell it's called. <laughs> yeah. And of course, uh, when you actually go to buy Bethesda bucks, you're never going to be able to buy them in clean, like cleanly splitting quantities. You're going to buy 700 when the base uh, base thing costs 400. And then you have so you always, So you always have some left over, which encourages you to do more. Every, every And every single... Yeah. Storefront that has used this. this it's also microtransactions thing. to the next fucking level. It's yeah. just it's just more See, bullshit to, to no, shove no, down your let's, throat. Let's theoretically fix it. Mm. Would you pay a subscription service for mods? No. So we get immediately no. No, no. Let me let me finish. You get the vetting process. You get the streamlined interface, and you basically keep it for as long as you want to play the game. The, the difficulty the difficulty with this is the verification process of what gets verified. I'm not going to pay for a subscription service. When all I'm getting is a whole shitload of skins, I'm yeah, not going to be paying that's subscription. But, but yeah, on the flip side, if a lot of mods, I would pay a subscription service for because I don't want to really. Uh, let's say it was a mini DLC for fifteen dollars, 
and I'm just really into Skyrim at the moment. In like five years, anything, that's a waste of money. Yeah, anything that involves like adding anything, any mod that involves like adding extra models or meshes to the game has typically been a gigantic pain in the ass to install. Yep, yep. Uh, we know. So also, I just want to clarify. So, so, if, so if that could be streamlined, that yeah. would be that so, would be something. So I, w- I want to clarify as well before what we said is the 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 Hellfire armor. So they're both called Hellfire armor. Oh, but really? The, the Hellfire armor was a popular loadout. It was a real thing, like in the vanilla game of Fallout Three, and it was a special unlock, so that was very popular. And then there was a fan-made mod to bring that set of armor into Four, and then then Bethesda have gone, okay, so we're going to do the same thing as well. Yeah. So they went and did that, but then they've done a wor- what most people believe a worse version of that. Which mod. is funny because Which they- the thing is they can clearly take so. Even though that that mod that set of armor is still in Fight Three, so therefore completely their intellectual property, the, even the armor itself, but they've clearly looked at what the free mods are and been like, that is a really popular free mod, and then let's let's just bring that over because because there's lots of different things you could bring from any of the series, but they've picked something that's done really so well as already a free mod. Not only are they doing something that's morally mm. dubious yep. already with the paid mods now they're being exceptionally ethically unsound about how they uh, what's getting to the mod page but they're, but they're, yeah so um and things like the hellfire power armor in the new one is about 500 credits which is about five dollars although the minimum credit purchase is 750 credits which is eight dollars so course. already they're already talking about that thing is what you said of course armor and, that, and that's and that is a whole set of armor of functional armor that's not even skin so skins would be theoretically even less and you're still buying in eight dollar increments yeah where things are four yeah. or five dollars each yep well, all right yep. it's not even it's not even two you buy it twice and you get 16 like it's not even it doesn't even scale well you can't even buy two sets to get everything even you'll always have something left over see the issue i have with this whole situation it, it's fuckery is, it's complete it's, fuckery <laughs> is that it's is is that it's something that could theoretically work but it's just the implementation has just been botched so badly that it's going to poison the wealthy oh so come. yes not not botched deliberately gimped so that you can make maximized money yeah, they, that, that is they, true. Short answer: They Scrooge McDuck this shit. Yeah, they they Ubisoft. This is a, cre- they Ubisoft this is a really this cool creator tool that can get our community together and get our community thriving, and we're gonna make a lot of money off it. <laughs> like, rubs hands together gleefully. <laughs> so, on a topic of another game, that, another money making fucking no, it's actually not money. Yeah, no, no. I was gonna say another game that's a done lot. wonders for the modding community, and brought them together and let them actually publish a proper game. Instead of just crappy mods, Sonic, 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 Sonic. Yeah. So, so, so okay. So we're talking about Sonic Mania yeah. again. And after Which, our last two weeks ago, how much we raved about it, how great it was, and now it's the, so now, good. So and for, it's still a great game. Our and for, now the our first PC couple of videos releases out. have come out about Sonic Mania. Yep. You should go watch them if you haven't already. Yes, they're good uh, videos. They're very fun. Uh, are they? I you actually, were in them. I had. You know, I kind of like black out during recording and then <laughs> I just wake up and... What have I said? They're good videos. Check them out. There's JoJo references. There's yeah. so many goddamn... I was editing them. There's so many fucking JoJo references. <laughs> I was like... I stopped pointing them out after a while. I was like... Anyway, so the Sonic re- Mania release for PC was delayed by a week. Two Which weeks. Not a problem. If they have problems with the game, then I'm happy for a delay. But the de- was it... The Why delay was, it was to add DRM into the product. <laughs> And it's also good to note as well that the game ended up coming out with a bug anyway. In in the DRM. Uh, in I the DRM? No, the game is... The, okay. No, no, so, no, the bug was due to the DRM. The bu- Oh, was it? Yeah. So <laughs> DRM basically... Well, it's digital rights management. And which, the bug- which is fair. Like, I don't think anyone here is claiming that DRM, while whilst annoying as fuck, is often necessary to protect companies' intellectual property. I get it. I'm not a fan of games privacy. I can't, privacy, so I can't remember I what com- what company it was. It's um, uh, a shit one. No, no, no not uh, the, Denuvo. Not this one. Used. Uh, another company basically said, "I like we're gonna release our game, and when the pirates finally crack the DRM, we're gonna put it on sale, and after that week, we're gonna put it on torrent sites, and just be like, fuck you, you don't even need a crack for this anymore." <laughs> yeah, the thing is though, there's a lot of people that invest a lot of money into the product, and I don't. I like right. when people say, "Oh, I cracked the game." I'm just like, "Well, come on!" Like, well, it's it's not like we're not talking about an industry making 
billions of dollars like off like they're not a lot of these people aren't even like activisions they're like people trying to put their game out yeah and it's like like when, fucking when is the last time team sonic has had a really big hit on their hands i like think they're you, a triple a studio but they're not exactly swimming in fucking property right now. i think you'd be surprised how much sonic the games sonic sell. games the recent sonic games which have not been that fantastic actually sell because you think you'd be very surprised. Everyone likes Sonic, man. It's really yeah. Sad. I mean, but it's, it's a, okay. I guess it's a good the last property. game they made that wasn't Sonic was awful. Well, it wasn't awful. It didn't sell well. Yeah, and it was Rodia the Sky Soldier. I don't oh, even, I, I I do don't even know that. what that is. We, I do well, remember that. I, hell, I've got two different versions of it, so we so can you play. You clearly it. liked it. You clearly liked it. No, they came in the one pack. <laughs> and the Wii version's better than the Wii U version. Go figure. Yeah. Well, oh, it's that one. Yeah. yeah. I remember you showing me the box on that, and you were telling me. That the Wii version's better, and I was like, "How?" But yeah. Well, the Wii U version was a port of the 3DS version. What? Wait, how does that make any sense? You just blown my mind. Holy shit! That's not all mm-hmm. I'll blow. So, um, also bubbles. What's wrong with you today? So, so we'll, we'll get back onto this. Fuegos make that, me hot. That uh, <laughs> God. so that the De Nuvo stuff is you know your DRM yep. program meant to you know stop the players from sharing the same copy run by doing multiple checks throughout the game yep so Sonic Mania has no online functionality except for cloud saves yes and yep. all that and, it and, and, should and not usual. require you to be online at all always that is ridiculous yes and that is apparently so then this game came out in the PC port, and what do we know? Always online. Yeah. Well, and once again, the developers fixed that within like 48 they hours. They were just like, And done. they came out with a statement saying, we understand that people hate this DRM. We understand. Because this, this DRM, this De Nuvo, has copped some flack previously as it's had a lot of complaints leveled at it that it actually harms the game's, perfor- like the game's performance that it's been on. People liken it to malware. It's not one that it's quite invasive as far as the DRM goes. It's one of the more worse offenders. So more worse offenders. More worse. worse. More worse. They're all not great, you know. But I understand. Well, I um, mean, it's sort of like DRM's got kind of a, a bad name. Kind of a bad, bad name, a bad reputation. I mean, it, it it takes a lot for one of these uh, programs to to have a, a reputation as one of the worst. Yes, we're talking about software. That's in the same that's in the same ballpark as the old infamous Sony Root Kit. Do you guys yep. remember that story? That was great. I <laughs> love that. So, for any listeners that uh, yep. that don't remember that story, so basically any listeners under the age of fifteen. <laughs> Do we have any listeners under the age of fifteen? Probably not. I don't know. Um, my, my my love child from a long time ago. Who knows? <laughs> He's out there, somewhere. <laughs> So if you're Ben's son, hit us up on YouTube and Twitter. Come join our Discord. <laughs> what a sell. Okay, what was, I, what was I talking about? Sony, 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 Sony Rootkit. Rootkit. Okay, so this was um, so this was back in the age of CDs. Mm. This was uh, like uh, 2002, 2005? It was, pretty, it was pretty... I don't remember exactly when, but it was back in the age of CDs when the primary way of distributing music was not digital, it was CDs. Yes. There was a an album. The band, the artist, has been forgotten. All I remember is that you put that disc in your PC in order to listen to it, and it would automatically install, essentially, a virus on your machine as DRM to start try and stop you from ripping it. Yeah. Yep. So, um, yes, it was 2005. Go yeah. me. Um, and I am trying to that's find... That's way more recent than it should have been. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's yeah. way more recent. I can't remember... Mm. White Lily's Island. Okay. That yeah. band has been lost to the ages of time. <laughs> um, no. It's unfortunate when the, yeah, the, yeah, Steve, yeah. The, the, the virus that came installed on that CD is more famous than the band <laughs> yeah. themselves. No, no, that was Oops. the album name. Yeah. No one knows who did. <laughs> anyway, okay. yeah. But so, yes. DRMs the d- can be the devil if yep. implemented poorly. Well, theoretically, people go, oh, DRM's so terrible. Steam is DRM. Steam, you, is, Steam, Steam is DRM. Is, but I would Steam but is people, di- but that, and that's how you get people behind a DRM. People fucking hated Steam when that came out, and people were just like, "I love Steam. Steam's they sure the best." Did. They sure did. I actually, like, I, I remember, I remember buying, being a bright-eyed, twelve-year-old. Uh, no, I wasn't. I wasn't that young. I can't even remember actually, how, how no, old when I did was. Half Life Two came 2004. out. Two thousand four. Okay, so it was in two thousand four. How old were you in two thousand four? Don't make me do that in my head. <laughs> Dude, I was fifteen in two thousand four. So that was thirteen years ago. 
I think I was 20. 20. Yeah. Okay. yeah. How uh, old was I in 2004? 10. 11. 8. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, where was I going with this? Yeah, Steam, Steam came with it, yeah. and I mean, I don't remember having like, like a vis. I don't remember shit? having like a visceral reaction to it, but I was sort of like, well, why is this here? Well, yeah, no, I like, this. like, what's what's the what's the deal? I remember yeah. having the shits with that because I had unstable internet at the time, and I'm like, you are saying I can't play my things? Then the, just put it in offline mode. By the way, if you guys ever use Steam's offline mode now. It's pretty bad, but it's a lot better than it used yeah. to be. Oh, no, it, it actually works now. Yeah. It didn't work before. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's like a button. It's like offline mode, and you click it, and it's like, offline mode. <laughs> no, it's no, like I still can't play the fucking game. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Please recheck your Steam case. Now, this, <laughs> this seems... Man, I'm about to get into actual my capital J job issue here, but like the product that I work with, and uh, dynamic CRM that <laughs> pro- that promises offline mode. That shit doesn't work. People promise offline mode in so many things, it never fucking works. It how hard as a developer, how fucking hard it is to implement a good offline mode is next to impossible. And it's like, but everyone wants it. Everyone's like, I want to do it offline. And you're like, but I've built this entire system to be internet based. I'm fucked. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> and on the consumer side of the coin. You're like, I don't care. I don't care about how impossible it is. I I want it. I no, want damn it. it. My thing is, <laughs> my, my games. My company doesn't do cloud stuff. Yeah. So I'm like, can we build a local server? You'd be surprised how many people go. I'm sorry, sir. Our product's not for you. What? Because no, no, we no don't. one's doing local servers. We don't anymore. No. <laughs> and I, they're, they're sort of like local hardware in 2017. But, uh, yeah. No. no sorry. I'm like, <laughs> sorry. No, I have like. I literally have all... Look at all my infrastructure I have. No, anyway. <clears throat> yep. So, but yes, jumping back to the Steam as DRM because we just mm. went on a tech rant. It's great. Like, Blizzard uses the same methodology where the DRM is your user details. And the data, like... Yeah, so... so it's like, great. So, I guess the story here is in order to sell people on DRM, you need to make it as as unintrusive as possible yep. and if possible build it build it into something that also provides value people use steam not people don't use steam because it's drm that's that would be dumb no okay people, people use, use steam because people it use comes steam. With a whole bunch of actual useful features yeah in 2004 people used steam because they had to because that was the only way that they were going to play half-life 2 but yeah. now people go out of their way to buy games on steam even if they're available outside of steam or on different platforms yeah. because it's an integrated library solution correct and, and and it actually provides people with features like achievements and and social features and, and free games like doto and or even TF2. though discord exists it still has little things like team chat and all those kind of things it, yeah. it, it's basically yeah it's a gaming solution yeah which is fantastic so basically and that's the, and that's the other thing isn't sonic mania only is sonic mania only available on steam or can you buy it directly from the website uh, as far as I know, Steam. Which is funny, because you get Steam and then it installs it over. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and the, the problem is as well, is that I think people Thanks are feeling Obama. like... Thanks, Like, these poorly inter- implemented DRM uh, systems like De Novo, uh, people get frustrated because the game hamstring... Like, this thing hamstrings you, and you're like, I'm buying the fucking game. I am the one paying you money to do this properly... And not be a piece of shit pirating this game. I'm doing the right thing, and I'm treated like a fucking yeah, criminal. Yeah, and you, so therefore, they should get out of your way and let like, you enjoy the cool, product. We've got to check. We've checked it. Thank you. Boom. Instead because of being it, like, "Hey, we're gonna check you every five minutes and ping your system, make sure it's not cracked." And you're like, so I hate to use one of these arguments, but it's 2017. Yeah, we are at least 10 to 15 years past the point where your average gamer's default mode of acquisition. Like you could have made a, you could have made, yeah, an argument fifteen years ago for a certain demographic of gamers that their default acquisition mode was piracy. Yes. Well, you can't make that argument dude, anymore. No. I put it this way: I remember in like two thousand and five, listening to my youth pastor preach about how piracy is stealing. Imagine, like, I know that's a really weird specific set of things. Yes. <laughs> but put it this way: when that's a message that someone feels that the audience needs to hear yeah. that this isn't the right way. Yeah. Do it properly. Yeah. The, w- the way that the gaming industry turned that around mm. on, p- on PC was by making their product able to compete both 
in in price by lowering prices yep. and in convenience with with, with things like products Steam. and solutions like Steam and the Blizzard client and yep. God that you just go in and go, boop, I've got it. Yeah, and and like it's easier. You don't have to go down. You don't have to fucking See, drive to your your EB or for your US crowd, your GameStop, and have to go and buy a fucking PC CD and, and the, go back and install it. The great it thing and, about this is the yep. mobile integration. So I had someone told me Windjammers came out yesterday. Oh, by the way, Windjammers came out yesterday. Not okay. yesterday. What was yesterday? The 30th. We'll play it sometime. It yep. looks cool. It looks cool. <laughs> and he was like, Windjammers out. Beep, boop, beep, boop. I'm a robot. I've bought it. It's I've brought it Boom. and it's downloading so I can play Windjammers and when I get home. Play it down- so it's downloading. So you set to download on your PC at home. PS4. P- PS4. Oh, your PS4. You can also do it on Steam yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, but like, we, yeah. We, we truly do live in the future. Yeah. Now. And it turns on you, like, cause that's the thing. I think Xbox does that as well. You can turn your Xbox on remotely through your, like, log in on your browser and be like, hey, turn on. I want to fucking download you now. Yeah. Boom. Get Done. My, get my updates. Get for ready. Me why I'm at work. Get your shit ready. V- VPN into my home machine to start WoW so that I can get <laughs> in the uh, server queue before, before I get home. Well, <laughs> I mean, have you seen patch times lately? I actually. Yeah. <laughs> I actually tried to do that back at Wrath of the Lich King launch. Mm. It didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> but you um, can say where the wind blows. But yeah, so I mean, it, it, it's funny. That, <laughs> it's funny that both of these things have come out immediately with uh, the Fallout Four and Sonic because it feels like, and I want to kind of get your take on this. Does it feel like companies are making an even bigger push towards being like, well, this is the gaming industry, our kids. Get fucking used to it. Like, no, with- no. Actually, this feels. This honestly feels a bit like a blast from the past. Oh, yeah. really? Because it's sort. Because it's well, it's like, like a regression. Ba- yeah, like, like Jesus a regression. Christ, yeah. we're Look- fucking people. Because <laughs> like people, like yeah. I don't know. Like in 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 a lot of ways, the gaming industry has introduced concepts over the past five years which are not very consumer friendly. Like like, transactions. Like, microtransactions <laughs> for great. non-applicable things. Well, yeah. Microtransactions were never necessarily a consumer unfriendly concept. No. Well, no. It was when they it was when they started being combined with full price games and gambling concepts that they really turned pathological. Yes. Hey, yeah. Hey, absolutely. What about that PUBG? Yeah, well that's that case in point. Well that's come yeah, that's getting microtransactions, hey. So that's basically getting like, got. Oh, it, it, yeah, they're, 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 they're they're already here, bro. Ooh, I would say this wow, is a pre a game that <laughs> hasn't even been, been finished yet. Theoretically, I mean, it's like Minecraft. It's been out for like how long, and it's just like, yeah, we haven't hit version one point yet. And you're like, you got how many millions of people playing this game at the moment? Well, apparently they actually overhauled uh, CS:GO as the most played Steam game, which is incredible. Oh my god! Well, they they took over they took over CS:GO. I, Hang on. That, yeah. I have to Google that, that because be, that's a because that's a big that is claim. A bold but, yeah. fucking statement. <laughs> I'm actually I'm pretty sure he's right. Yeah, wow. Well, I'm not surprised though. But this coming from me, I haven't played CSGO. I, uh, I love you know I love I CS. Pl- I played a little bit. Um, One, not go though, actually. No, I played. One point six and source oh, were my I shit. played source. That was just at land parties. That was yeah, like old so school shit. So I, I'm still looking this up. Okay, Hold on. Cool. <laughs> but yeah. Um yeah, I th- I think it's so why, why like, he's doing microtransactions that? microtransactions okay here we go oh, so okay sorry, current yes. okay so currently dota 2 is in the lead Woo! um dota but peak, man. but in peak today artifact no okay so <laughs> peak so peak today count oh. cs go is 569,000 players peak concurrency yes dota 2 is 744,995 pubg 887,895 oh Number one. Number one. Number one of the fucking bullet. Wow. Yep. Wow. And, and, and team 800,000 people. Almost 900,000. And they haven't even released 1.0 yet. <laughs> yeah, so, and it's midweek. That's fucking crazy town. Like, this That's is a lot. That is it's crazy the middle town. Oh, the fucking week. Oh, wow. Speaking of, when I get my new PC, I am super getting PUBG. <laughs> I mean, I knew it was big, but I, I don't think it really sunk Man. in how much of a bloody See, sensation it was, when, you know? When I get my new PC, I am totally getting... What was that game you mentioned? The one that's targeted right at me and no one else in the world oh, that no one else ever asked for. God. I... Uh, the Forsaken... The Dota card game. Oh, oh, Artifact. 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 That shit has, like, been written it'll all over. It'll probably be good. We're making fun of it, but it'll probably be it, a good it, game. It, it's literally like, hey, you like CCGs and Dota, don't you? Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, there you go. 
Yes, daddy. It's like, do you like Dota? Yeah. The, the, do you like CCGs? <laughs> if, if, you were that, if you were in that crowd in that disappointing reveal, everyone it, went, oh my God, and, and like lost their shit and how disappointed they were. Would, you would still be cheering. You'd yeah, be the only dude in the fucking noise being like, I am so excited. <laughs> <laughs> now listen to me. <laughs> I'm a kid now. You've got like a fucking direct line to Gabe Newell's brain about <laughs> Send nudes. No, we're not doing that again. Oh my god. So yeah. Um... Hi Gabe, I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, mi- Miss News, which is YouTube related. Um, yep. The suspicion slash leak thing for Half Life Three. Did you hear oh, yeah. about that? Oh yeah. That that dude got like fucking. Volvo went demonetizing that shit, bitch. This brings the interesting question: Why is that demonetized? Because it's legit, obviously. The video? No, not the well. The video. Well, the video is just reporting on the leak. Okay, so the video by Valve News Network was it? I think yeah, so. it was the video by Valve News Network reporting on the. Okay, so let's back up. A They're second. reporting on a we're leak. To, we're talking about a a leak of. A plot, s- a plot synopsis of what was assumedly Half Life Three. It or might ep- that game or Half Life Two Episode Three. Well, yeah, whatever. So does Golden finally make love to Freeman? I've never played a Half Life no, game. Demon. You're Damn talking it. to someone that doesn't no, know anything. I messed up. Why? Have, I know why? the meme. I've never played the games. Not a PC game, bro. Never. It was out on other consoles. Oh, Orange Box, yeah, I never played it. It was, like, it was on Xbox. Yeah, yeah, it was. I would say there was, it, it, was there was the, even, it was on the Orange Box pack. Yeah, there was even a PS2 release of the original Half Life. Anyway, well, anyway, anyway, continue. Yes. Yeah, so, all right. So, it was posted by a guy. It was the names were different, but it was pretty obviously like just a find and replace of the uh, original characters. Like he anonymized it, but it was pretty obviously. Oh, what he said, yeah. hey, I got a yeah. script. I found yeah. this script yeah. and yeah. here it is. It's like, yeah. <laughs> I didn't watch it, but in my head, I can just imagine instead of free man, he's like, free, free. What's a synonym with free? At least, uh, I th- at least Unhinged, I think, man. I no think, way. No, no, no. I, I think that was the case. Anyway. So what, the question what, what, is whatever. Anyway, the, anyway, then Valve News Network made a video reporting on it. and Reporting on someone on, else. Reporting on the leak. Yeah. Reporting on the leak. As and, you do. And, and then uh, it got... <laughs> my fucking YouTube fair use bones are tingling here. That seems some high class bullshit. Well, I mean, obviously it means that it's legit, right? But not only <laughs> that, but that guy is losing revenue on a video of reporting something that happened as a news channel. And oh. he's getting I mean, demonetized. Right, I mean, it's right there in the name, isn't it? News Network. He's a news channel and he's getting demonetized for reporting on news. You See, can't breach intellectual property if you're reporting on something that's happened. That yeah. that seems completely fair use to me. Vol- Volvo begs to differ. That is ridiculous bullshit, and this is exactly why we need fucking fair use precedent. You know we don't have fair <laughs> use in Australia. Uh, you know we don't have fair use in Australia, this, Adam. But yet, a yet, b when I this become president in the US, of so that's Australia, totally different. When you are king, when I am king, you'll you will be, be first, first against, against the wall. wall. And your opinion. That wasn't a that wasn't an excuse for you to start singing. I just That's I of don't. no consequence. <laughs> yep. Okay. Yep. Cool. Volvo, please. But so the, <laughs> lead us to the promised so, land. So what is interesting is because this has happened again of Adpocalypse fucking round two. What happens all it's ha- Wait, happens no, all the time. This, dicks this, out this because is round, this <laughs> is because no, no. fucking this, the adbot is coming in. Banning all the dicks, banning all the guns, banning everything. Round three. Uh yeah. Sure. Uh, like this Well, is- this is this is the latest advance in it, which is kind of so what has happened. So yeah. what has happened? So <laughs> they so so to combat the whole thing, because they had a big problem with how we're we going to go through the hundreds of hours of YouTube videos uploaded per second to this site. Mm. That's the well, stat. You, well you use a robot, right? Yeah. We got we we have to automate See, this, which which makes sense, but it's going to be AI, 
and AI is flawless. If you've ever seen, like, I don't know, uh, iRobot, you know, AI oh, it never t- goes bad. It's hey, always worse. How about, I, how about the Terminator? The Terminator, See, no, the Terminator programmed to be... Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah no, that was Skynet. That's um, true. I have an AI clip that someone showed me today about an automated baby feeder, which I'll show you afterwards. Yeah, that's gonna... That already sounds <laughs> weird. I don't want to watch it. <laughs> well, it. I'll describe it to you using hand gestures. So my arm is something holding a bottle and it walks up to like a doll baby and then something breaks it just goes oh god, <laughs> oh god. And, and, and what punches the baby in the face yes. oh, or the baby doll at least I mean, and, and if it had well, done and if it had done, and if it had done that to a real baby it would have taken its head well, off i mean uh, it was definitely a, oh that's gross it was definitely oh. a joke sketch but it was fucking gold it, 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 it was a, it was a joke sketch but point Point made. But that was point like the Boston made. Dynamics robot that was trying to like put something down, like a tray <laughs> down on a bench, and then always trying to hold on to something, and it went up there and grabbed and missed, and then teetered and then grabbed again, and he just fell backwards. And it looked so comical of like, like the robot was like, oh god no, oh god no, <laughs> it's like going down. It was great. It looks yeah. fucking awesome. And you know what the worst part about it is? That thing cost probably oh, millions, millions of millions. dollars. They cost millions, and they just. But sorry. One hundred billion dollars. No, no, stop memeing. So, this, so what happened? It though? costs three hundred thousand so dollars back- for this oh. robot to walk for twelve <laughs> seconds. And it costs three hundred thousand dollars <laughs> for us to stay on topic for oh, twelve oh my, seconds. Oh, oh my god, <laughs> I'd pay that price right now. <laughs> uh, but yes, yeah, so are, 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 are you for are you for real? No, Ben, let's stay on topic quick. <laughs> Focus, stay on target. Oh, stay no, on you're target. not doing you're it. You're doing it wrong. You've already broken it. I'm fucking in the clear. So <laughs> you. So the news is that so they they implemented this AI and the AI is fucking dumb as a rock at the moment, <laughs> um because it needs to learn. So they basically set it loose and it is now just See, banning and demonetizing a whole bunch of shit. Obje- objection, they did demonetized. It. Yeah, no, continue. I would say <laughs> your so objection is they, demonetized. They did the classic thing of their testing and production. They are, they, they are indeed. Yeah, that's what I was about they to are say. Testing in production before you release software into the wild, you. You test it first, right? So, yes. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. It's going live. We're doing it yeah. live. So they asked if they could. They never asked if they should. No. So what's ended up happening dun, dun, is dun, dun, they've dun. gotten... Uh, so they've even stuff like... Uh, you know, you know... It reads... It, okay, so here's what we know so far about it. It does... It reads your text, like the, the titles and all that kind of stuff in your tags for... So if you have um, the word cocaine or something, for example, in your video title... But what demonetized. Ab- what about all those songs that are about cocaine? Yeah, and are actually that'd be monetized. Uh, well, I seriously do a lot of cocaine. Yeah, <laughs> there's an entire <laughs> channel I watch called Cocaine Decisions. That's which gone. Is, That's which fucking. Is about, they're, they're burned. They're, that channel's which burned. Is about dumb shit streamers do. Right. Lost on, okay. lost on cocaine. No, no, just like. It does stuff for her. Well, I mean, them. well, that's the Im- that's the implication. That's that's yeah, the yeah. that's the joke, and yeah. they're just like cocaine decisions, and it's great, it's fantastic. Okay. But that guy is probably entirely demonetized. He's fucked. He's completely for, fucked for something which is a hilarious name, and that's it. Oh, yeah, and that so, got. And so I'm sorry, and, and that was yeah, real. Please don't. Please that don't. wasn't on purpose. Okay. If it was on purpose, I, like there would be. If icon. it was on purpose, it would be even more awkward. Stop touching each other, please. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. But, His um, body's calling mine. Oh God. <laughs> uh, now I was I had a really good point to bring up, but, but now I've totally it, forgotten what it is. Cocaine decisions. The, the thing is, this also reads images as well. So if you have a picture, a thumbnail of a gun, it goes. The robot goes. That's a gun. But what about this? Finger guns. I don't know. If we do this <laughs> in the thumbnail. Maybe pew. we can do a test with th- finger gun pew, thumbnail. Pew, 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 then, pew. Um, Simba. But, uh, I remember what I was gonna say. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I bet <laughs> I know. How, I bet I know how this. Uh, how this actually came to be? How? It's sort of like, I well, I mean, they're, they're like the the engineers are like, this is like eighty percent done. We what we could do is just if we want to get it some more useful data, we can just actually just put it live, and and, all- and and deal and deal with the things that it gets wrong uh, on a case by case basis, and then and it gets everything wrong, and it gets everything wrong, and they're like, well, shit. And people, <laughs> and, and the thing is, what I noticed uh, so predominantly, I saw. Big big channels, some of the leading channels on you on the platform, in, especially in the gaming industry, come out and be like, uh, "If you guys would like to get YouTube Red, that would be great." Yeah, I, I've, I've also heard that. That would yep. be great well, because we're going fucking broke. 
Yeah, so do you have YouTube Red? I don't. I'm, I, do you have YouTube Red? No, I don't. You but guys I'm, are fucked. Both <laughs> of you. But I'm, but but I'm, but I'm, like, but I'm probably going... Am I the only one here who's actually trying to support content? No, but, but I'm, Wait, but do I'm you run an ad get... blocker? No, I don't. Fuck no. Do you run an ad blocker? No. Okay, no. I, mean, I mean, not yeah. on not on the... Uh, not on Chrome, which I use to watch YouTube, because that's where I'm signed in. Do you also use yep. that to watch porn? No. Okay, good. You, yeah, because you need an ad blocker for that, man. <laughs> I've seen things. <laughs> Apparently, they can make it larger with just like four easy steps. All you have to do is send them your credit card details today. <laughs> It'd be like, uh, for you, maybe six steps. <laughs> <laughs> six steps. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> I, uh, We're not miracle workers I, here. <laughs> I think the technical term is micro micro penis. <laughs> How did how did we get on this? Anyway, again? <laughs> but yeah, so basically, so basically, so with the adpocalypse happening uh, again, again, and it's hitting everyone pretty hard. So wait, there's normally four horsemen, so we're up to the third, third one. Third one. The fourth. What do you ones. think the fourth horseman of the adpocalypse is? I I seriously think that they that the gaming section of YouTube is in a bit of trouble because we a lot, we, we swear we make innuendos it's, we have guns just the community, we all the like community, tits the community itself is just a different or, and or dicks has I just mean. a different feel to it than what their biggest platform like the the biggest personal platform is still PewDiePie still got the most subscribers yep. having said that though then again well obviously for individual reasons they don't want to do business with him that's their own that's their own decision. And Hang on, you, YouTube don't want... Oh, that's right. He got yeah. kicked off Red, didn't he? Yes. But no, but, but not, not, not just... But, 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 uh. said, but it's not just PewDiePie, though. So they've got a lot of people here that they're doing YouTube Red content with, but... The, uh, G- but Game Grumps. The Game Grumps one came out today as a recording. I came out today. It was pretty it good. And let you guys know, because you guys are fucks who don't have YouTube So Red. So, but, but the, the, the thing is, me, though, me, 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 the me. problem with this is that the highest videos most seen videos on the platform makeup tutorials their toy videos people singing lullabies that people just turn on for their kids yeah like all the all these things and, that and, are and very pop, family did you, friendly did you say pop music um and like the vivo channels yeah. and shit also that's not, that's that's what's driving them surprisingly indian trailers for like um what is that bollywood, bollywood Bo- trailers bollywood trailers <laughs> Really big hit on YouTube. So, so like, all these, oh, I can sh- I can scroll you so through my all, list, and I'm all like, all of those things also have in common the fact that they are way more family friendly than what the gaming community is. So they're gonna have to figure out what to do with the gaming community because at the moment their current changes. And the thing is, that we get there are we're, we're all gonna migrate it, to Twitch. That's what's gonna happen. Well, the thing is, and that that's a possibility. So we're getting to the point where they might just go. Our solution is, we don't care. Like we're we're, well, we're we're getting out of the revenue we want from these family friendly channels, and we want to go in this direction, and we want to keep pushing our content in this direction, and we're gonna be left behind, see, and we're gonna have to go somewhere diversi- else. That could happen. Diversifying is always beneficial. Yes. Um, if they made a YouTube game like gaming platform, can you think of any big brands that would support it? I don't know. Maybe Dell. Well, I think maybe Razer. I think there's maybe but, Beth Cedar. But there's also a lot of advertisers that go. The ge- gaming audience is the audience I want to pitch to, and I'm fine if they swear. I'm fine if they're edgy because it's a gaming audience. Well, they're not, and we're not going to put fucking extremist videos on there because that's a whole different thing that will also be banned from from YouTube from the YouTube gaming platform. And they've already got YouTube gaming. If they just spin that off and break that. Yeah. completely away from YouTube. They, you I know, think that would do they better. They need a separate you know, advertising market. You know, it occurs to me. Yeah, it, I'm going to choose advertise on YouTube gaming, and you're like, boom. You done. know, it it occurs to me that we're the, all the, happier. We're honest. There's honestly kind of like, I don't think they have to. I don't think they're making it harder for themselves. They are. They absolutely. Then it are. absolutely has so, to be because I don't actually think they have to choose. Let's let's um step away from YouTube for a minute and talk about movies for a second. Yep. There are G-rated movies. Really? That, pe- that people can take their entire family to. Mm. But the biggest, and there are PG movies, which is where most of the big blockbusters sit these days. Yeah. Oh, PGM. P- or PG thirteen, which is Th- our that's qu- the equivalent that's... of M. Well, actually, but that's it's, P- it's actually softer than our M. But yeah, well, that's actually where I was going with this because most of the, most of them still try and hit PG yeah. or PG thirteen these days. Which or is... they throw a fuck and just one fuck to get it over the line to M, and that's it. Yep. That's the called the fuck line. <laughs> I I I didn't that, know that, I didn't that's know that actually, actually. That, that yeah I am thing. 
I'm actually... Really, yeah, I know. I'm not... There's no joke here. This is real. Anyway, my, my point is... The blockbusters are either usually PG, but there's also there's plenty of blockbusters which are. I mean, like we were talking about Terminator before. Yep. That's oh. a the, Terminator Two, especially the most blockbuster of blockbusterist movies. Yeah, and it's M, isn't it? You know what? It, it, yeah, exactly. It is. Is M-A. it an M A? The first one is R. Second one is M A. Yeah, no, but it was R because it came out in like the eighties, and yes. the rating system is really one, messed I'm up in the eighties. Positive is M A. I can double check that in Australia. Yeah, yeah, it might be totally different in anyway. Uh, like Robocop was R. Like, come yeah. on, man. My point, my my point is these were these movies were big cultural touchstones, like really kind of a big deal, and they advertise advertisers. Oh no! Had hell. a field day. Merchandise had a field day with this stuff. They sold Robocop McDonald's toys to kids. Yeah. Like so, I mean, like I wouldn't let my child watch that until they're at least fifteen, or until they killed their first man. I so, mean, either or. So what's oh so what God. so what's changed? What's ooh? I mean, our uh, former editor CK is going to have a field day, and I was going to say everyone's got a bit too PC about things. Hmm. I don't know. I think. What, what, I th- what do you reckon, I th- Adam? I think, I think there's like in in it's maybe a bit of a sidestep, but in people have gotten more conscious about. Uh, not offending people, and but t- to be honest though, you look at some of the things they did back in eighties and nineties movies, and you're like, oh, that shit wouldn't fly now, and that is awkward. Yeah. And to be honest, that's a good thing. Cro- no, but a, lo- a, lot, a lot of the times, yeah, a lot of times it's a good thing. Some of, <laughs> so, okay, <laughs> some of that is changing social values. Yes, but some of it is also I don't look. I don't know. But I mean, there's, there's a, a line. I, there's I, always there, making there's, sure you don't swing too far and. Become but I also do, I also reckon like you see ad, you see advertising tie you see advertising tie ins tie ins for M movies maybe not M A but M rated mm. movies yep. all the time because like because at that you you you're you're marketing to 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 adults you're marketing to well, older teenagers you see, once yeah. again you're market you're marketing to the kids and teenagers to force the adults to attend yeah they they're the hooks they're yeah. the bait that's why we don't target tobacco at them anymore mm. so. Mm. Where was I going with this? My my point is something being not entirely family friendly, mm. at least in 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 movie and television yep. space, doesn't mean that it's unadvertisable. So yep. what so what the hell happened with YouTube? Well, also like, I, I think know. I think I they're making it a lot harder than see, they need to. Yeah. I'll say. Well, I think a, advertisers are putting pressure on them, and now they're caught between a rock and a hard place, and they're like, "Fuck, advertisers are gonna leave." The second the second the, I heard one person say on 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 a different podcast. That uh, the second a Coke advertisement, someone gets a screenshot of a Coke advertisement on a extremist video, the game's up. YouTuber yep. are going to be like, "We're fucked. This is a problem." Pull all the ads. Yeah, and then and then they're going to go and they're going to run. They're going to fucking backpedal a million miles an hour. So, I mean, it's it's uh. not it's not a full. S- sorry, you first. Yeah. So, I think a very important distinction here is, believe it or not, age gating. That already that exists, no, no, that already exists Let, though. It it does. Yep. It's not a fine line. It's no. either you're over eighteen or you're not. Or you're not. If you notice with all these big blockbuster hits that we're talking about for reference, there's, there's uh, a scale. An, a, an M movie you can take your kid in to see. And if you don't feel comfortable with your kid seeing that, you are there and you can take them out. Would something like parental controls be there if they want to open up to be more family friendly? So your parent if your parent sets you up like, cause at, the, at the moment, a lot of a lot of people browse YouTube anonymous, on, anonymously, but uh, maybe if they implement something like, "Hey, you have to have an account now," well, then no, they could say, no. "Then your parent controls can sit up and be like, hey, you, no, I'm no. gonna wa- let See, my kids watch these these yeah, rating videos.' No, no, this thing, um, they do set up stuff like that, mm-hmm. like, and they maybe need a bit more finesse. So yeah. if you're on an anonymous account and something's marked as quote unquote inappropriate I don't know they say anything over G well no absolutely not you to not have an account no no it's that would be super restricted yeah it would be it's M and up is the technical one because you can't let a kid hire an M rated movie that is true but you can let them hire a PG rated movie because it's got a recommended um and that's where the difference is you know it it occurs to me that the original Indiana Jones movies were PG there's some messed up stuff in those they (laughs) Kalima! <laughs> yeah, melting but, faces and shit, see, Nazis. But that's that's my point. Is the reason why YouTube has this huge mm. backlash is that YouTube is like YouTube Switch is adult 
or not adult. Yeah. 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 And, too much black and white in there. And then when you want to market to, let's say, like, uh, the thing is, post when you, when, pubescent when you, teens. If, if you get adult as well, your ads turn off. So yeah, and, and, and your ads, your your revenue. So people go, we can't afford to get our content age restricted because there goes our revenue. Yeah, it's gone. So beforehand, where they might be like, okay, these advertisers want to advertise. You know, that's so that's actually that's the, actually still a problem, even even like even in other mediums, yep. like an R rating is often a bit of a death knell because it, movie, cut, yeah. it cuts down yeah, it the sort of stuff you can do with it. Yes, well, the the the, the biggest the biggest there's a reason that Disney is one of the biggest. Um, media conglomerates in the world and that's because their base product even when they were founding and they were just themselves they didn't own Marvel they didn't own all these other huge properties is they made films for everyone mm. everyone can go see them and they, they were great films but everyone could see them yeah. and you could watch it a million times what kids we... could watch kids would watch Lion King every fucking day so we're Boom. talking about targeted marketing and advertisements just to draw the lines together mm. because you were about to ask that mm. um yeah, so there's your answer. Short answer, it's because we can't age gate things appropriately. Yeah. But I, for one, welcome our new gin advertiser overlords. I'm, I'm or, fucking. Can we start putting I'm, booze on YouTube? I'm waiting. I'm booze too. I'm, I'm waiting for either Twitch to like Twitch is taking notes. They're like, I reckon they they would be ready if if there's any more issues with the YouTube platform. They would be ready to be like, we're launching. A dedicated section of our website for Boom. VODs and edited content. Boom. And well, that'd be the end of that, wouldn't it? Yep. And and we've made jokes, but I'm serious. I'm waiting for you porn. I'm seriously waiting for you porn to porn be hub. like porn hub. Or porn. Por- or porn, porn hub's the major both, one. Both of them, both, yeah. But either either Actually like they a, might be owned by the same group. But I'm waiting, I'm waiting for a I know for an actual foray, a clean foray in from a porn website into saying we're gonna fuck it. Did you, you the see the po- um we're giving you the, the U porn team for Dota or was it? Lee's? Yeah, I mean, again, they're I, already I did, actually. They're already, I didn't see that. Those people like U porn, like U porn support popular streamers as well. Yeah, like they they've got Twitch. Um, they're already integrated. They've found because they're like as archaic as this stereotype is. They're like. Nerds. Game is like porn, right? Game is like porn. <laughs> hey, and it fucking works. They've look, integrated perfectly into the system. And gamers are like, you know what? Uh, maybe they, they don't have to be porn fiends, but they've found out gamers in large don't give a fuck. It, especially with esports, they're like, we just want a sponsor. Don't give a fuck if it's a porn site. We will take the sponsorship. Well, look, I hate they're to break it to you. Phone. Oh, damn it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I hate to break it to you. Yeah. If slash when we start streaming and if a porn company comes to us saying, can we sponsor content? Fuck yes. Oh, I would be fine I'll, with it. I, I would be totally fine I with it. I mean, okay, it okay. depends like on one Go condition. I can actually appear in your next video. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, no. I want... Sponsored content. <laughs> I, I, no, I just want members access. I mean, the three minute videos only get me so far. Oh, God. <laughs> free, free, free um, memberships. Um, um, yeah. Also, just tangent on that. Can you imagine the looks on my parents' faces? When they find out that we're sponsored by porn. And you just stand there with a U porn shirt on and you're just like, oh. <laughs> I'm proud oh. of you for being successful, but, but really? really? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm pretty open with about that stuff. Personally, I'm just like, it's porn. It'd be, People it'd look at porn. It'd be weird, I reckon, to be sponsored I'm, by that. I'm just, I'm no. okay with it. I, I mean, as long as you don't have to call out specific I'm videos. not going to say, like, hey, guys, this, I, I'm. Just let everyone know here. I'm just so into fairy porn. I love it. No, it's no, just my jam. That's like no one expects that. You're just like, yeah, people watch porn. I, I mean, here's a discount and if you code don't, to that's get cool. ten percent off. If you do, that's cool. If you month. don't, that's cool. Whatever. Um, I don't mind. And as long as you don't have to call out like, as long hey, as you're 18 I, plus, go enjoy this lovely website responsibly. Yeah, and like discount codes. That's how that's it fine. works. You don't have to be like, hey, oh, you guys, okay you porn uploaded this really great interracial gangbang. Between these redheads. Yeah, I'd just be like, no, I don't need to know that. <laughs> no, but, you know. You just, you like, <laughs> you know. just say 10% off. Have you buzz? I don't there, mind. There, there, there is a line, and I think you've just crossed it. <laughs> I just love that sentence. So we started, red, with, we, we started with asking for chip, for, like, uh, chip promotion, <laughs> and now we're going to you porn promotion. I feel like we've taken a very big detour <laughs> from who we're taking on as sponsors on this channel. Let, let's go for <laughs> you, you, you just take anybody. We're you taking dirty, anything. You dirty we're, little... Oh, we are. Oh. We, we, we will take anything. Um... 
So, but, but lastly as well, I just want to mention, we will be wrapping up, but last thing as well is um, it's big news now and I want to, we were going to talk, talk about, about it. We've run out of time. doesn't matter. Is there's a big YouTube win for what the one good thing about YouTube at the moment is we had a big YouTube win for fair use rights, which isn't so, a YouTube win. It's a fair use. win. It's a fair use win, but it, it, it but it, it, it specifically for YouTube creators. Yes. So I, that's I'd fantastic. I, I'd also like to be the, uh, we don't have fair use in Australia. Yeah, I know. You've said that be, twice. Be that it's very unfortunate. <laughs> but the thing is, though, a lot of times, but if we're being sued by a US company, that's also like, because it's a global if market. Being, if we end up being sued by a US company, that would mean that we would have to put in representation in the US. But the thing it's is, okay. we would be I also under the US. US law because it'd be a different thing. Uh-huh. Either yeah, way. No, seriously, my, like, my company You are not allowed to be my lawyer. <laughs> Never, ever. No, no, no. I meant like as as the representative, not but, the lawyer. But basically what ended up happening is... I don't think that's much I'm better. Just, I'm just going to give it a quick... Carl <laughs> oh, pleads guilty. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to love prison. We're going to have your U-Porn sponsorship. <laughs> yeah. So so I'll just give a quick recap Carl of, of in, the news. Oops, I dropped oh, the God. soap. Okay. Can you... Stop. Stop. <laughs> Stop. For God's sake. So, I mean, it's... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jesus I'm going to quickly go through this and then we're going to wrap up. So, basically, what happened is that um, we... So, there's a fair use win. Uh, what is considered fair use now, we do have a legal precedent in American law Beautiful. of what constitutes fair use. If, we, if you have a video that is decided as transformative enough, which in the specific case of H3H3's reaction video of taking a clip playing playing someone's original clip and then prying commentary criticism parody whatnot in sections and then playing another bit to highlight your point and then playing another section and so on that is now has a precedent of completely fair use and if you sue it's basically deemed as a you can't just sue someone because they made fun of your original video so so we actually have I can't remember the full legal ones, so don't hold me. There are similar laws with precedent in Australia as well. Which is great. So that did, that did not exist in the US until now. So that's very, very important. Um, we'll check with our legal representative. Yes. <laughs> Leo. And, and um, yeah, so we've got... Th- so that, that, that's gone through. And the, other, and the other big thing from that is... Interesting enough in that is the judge of that case actually made a comment on... Uh, the the YouTuber Jinx popularized this kind of reaction video of literally just staring, like letting the video play on on your screen, like and in your video, and you just sit there and go, "Huh, yeah, uh, that that's cool," and just wa- and letting the video run out. That that con- that there was actually a comment in that 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 is not deemed fair use. So that's very interesting for people that do do these kind of videos, and I think that's great for honest. Uh, uh, creators who are trying to put effort in and providing a new comedic take and adding value to something that exists. Yeah. And that level of um, reaction video is almost borderline stealing, in my opinion. It is. I, I don't even say borderline. It is stealing. <laughs> in my opinion, it's uh, 100% stealing. And a judge has kind of... You wouldn't download a reaction video. Yeah. <laughs> has a, They have provided a semi-ruling on that. So it's not really a ruling. But in the judge, oh, no, that's a no, high that's five. A high five. <laughs> I thought you were gonna hit me. No, 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 no. Okay, fine. no, no, no. That's that's <laughs> that's a down. <laughs> this is Carl. this is love. This is not. <laughs> oh no, this is also love. This is just a discipline. very different type this of love. Discipline. But no. it's but yeah. Uh, so, no, no. So I think it's I think it's a good win for like YouTubers everywhere that like putting in and making entertaining content. Um, it's a bit of an extra protection layer, which is very much needed because YouTube is a fucking wild lens, we found out. The more precedent there is, the easier it is to have frivolous cases thrown out of court. And Immediately. it's always important to have protection. Y- yep. Always have protection, kids. That's it. So, <laughs> thank you for watching. Um, we're, Just quick things. Are we going to go through with um, recommendations? And you can recommend one thing, three seconds. Carl, first. Why Carl. me first? I haven't played any games this week. Okay. My reaction is going to be watch the you hilarious... Just said, you just said reaction. No, my, my reaction. Oh, my reaction. So my recommendation <laughs> is going to be watch the... If you have Netflix, watch the new Death Note movie. It's not great. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's, not, it's not the worst thing on the planet. It's nowhere near as bad as everyone was thinking it was going to be. Was it Still better, not good. Better or worse than the previous Death Note movies? 
uh, maybe even slightly better. Okay, cool. It's it, it's totally different. It's actually it it takes the bare bone structure and makes it totally different. So like the story is actually very different from because that's a condensing movie. The story is very different from the original anime. Watch the movie. You probably won't like it. Then go and watch the original anime because that's way better. That's my reaction. That's my recommendation. I said that twice. Yeah, you have. That is. You got reactions my reactions on the brain. My fucking brain is done, man. So, right. Death Note, Ben. Putting you on the spot, man. Uh, yeah, you are. Um, come share in my shame. Bathe with me in the Ubisoft pool of Raymond plus Rabbids. How can you recommend it when you haven't even played no, it? No, no. Mario plus Rabbids. Mario. We're fucking done. We're, We're fucking so done. done. No. I was going to yes. say, that's Mario my thing. Mario plus Rabbids. I, yep. I, I want everyone to experience the same thing I did to the next week. We can have a discourse about it and complain and all be like, fuck you. Yeah. Just have a collective wank session over it. Carl, I'm, yes. I'm actually going to have an anti uh, recommendation. Anti recommendation. Uh, if you've been looking to get into Hearthstone, now's not a good time. Wait until they nerf Druid. Okay, so apparently <laughs> not good. Okay. Yeah. Now's a good time to get into wild. Yeah. Now's the time to get ready for artifact. Yeah. And, yeah. On, the, and on that note, let's go play some Gwen. God damn. So thank you guys for listening and staying Done. with us. Bit of a long one. Thank you for listening and hanging around. Uh, please, if you like the podcast, please have a uh, rate it on iTunes. That'd be great. And give it a comment. It gets us more exposure. That'd be fantastic. Uh, leave a like and leave a comment of any of the opinions we've discussed. Tell us why you hate us. That's also cool. Um, Join us on Discord. We do have a Discord server. The Discord server is in the chat. We're always in there talking shit, having memes. Post uh, memes. Having a chat about things, what we're, what we're currently doing. Um, and that's where you can all just have a chat to us and just tell us what you like about the channel in general. Any videos. Um, you can also ask us to do requests there because we're in that Discord Literally all the time. All fucking day, every day. So if you want to have a chat and hang out, that is a fantastic place to do it. Cool. So cool. Thanks very much, guys, for hanging around. See you later. Use the code 6969 to get 10% off you, Paul. And oh, we're geez. done. <laughs> <laughs> huh.